So this is the uh, base of the uh, pump enclosure. What we did is we bought a fairly inexpensive uh, half metal shed from Lowe's and put a base in here that's uh, old pressure treated six by six. And then I backfilled around after I got it leveled out and then put some uh, fabric cloth over the dirt. I'm gonna get some pea gravel and put about an inch or two in there and then that should be uh, pretty good in terms of keeping the mud and stuff out. And the next step is to build the structure. You can see the pressure tank and then that's the controller unit and the actual wellhead itself. So uh, the next step is getting the metal siding on. So one of the things that annoys a lot of people about these these type of kits is they they protect things, you know, if the paint finishes with plastic. And the, really the key to getting the plastic off is to try to do it all in one piece. Don't try to, you know, pick off part of it and strip it down. And be slow and deliberate about it. It actually goes pretty fast. Starting to come together. This is the front two panels. Got the left and the right side done. And uh, now we're going to put the back panels on. They're pretty thin sheet metal, but uh, we'll be putting some supports on it pretty quick. So we're getting the panels screwed on now. We still haven't got the top rail exactly squared up and, and anchored. It's kind of loosely held in place by some top screws on the sheet metal. But uh, it's coming together. We got the back sides, you can see, is got uh, some holes in it left, but the, left, the right side over there has got panels on it. So we're moving along. So we've got the siding on, we've got the bracing all for the base of the, the walls and all that. And the next step is going to be putting the door on and then the roof. That hopefully will be tomorrow and we'll get that all done. So just take a couple of snapshots on the outside. You can see all the pump equipment is safely going to be on the inside. So it's looking pretty good. So here's the final product. What we got is uh, we can hit two opening doors on the side that can, you know, latch shut. And then uh, we've got plenty of space on the inside. There's at least uh, a foot and a half of head space over the controller. Uh, we've got pea gravel down at the bottom around the pump equipment. So to kind of keep it a little cleaner. And this top is removable, so if we need to, it can be uh, flipped up. There's actually pneumatic hinges on it that'll allow us to do that. Most of the time, though, we're just going to keep it um, anchored shut. But if we need to open to get access to, you know, the equipment, uh, they can get to it from the top. So this has actually worked out pretty well. This is a nice Lowe's. I got it from Lowe's. It was uh, they called it actually for dustbin. It's it was designed to be like a a garbage can protection thing, but um, it really worked out perfect for the pump. So when you kind of look at the outside, it's got a nice finish to it. Although I'm not sure that I want to keep it black. I may paint it um, a lighter color, like white or something that's maybe a little more reflective and less absorptive of the heat. Uh, there is uh, an overhang, so when the water comes down, it'll drip down and not, you know, drip inside. So that works out pretty good. It's about an one and a half, two inch uh, space all the way around it. So it's a, it's pretty good. It's, 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 you know, it's pretty solid actually. I was surprised at how solid it was when it all came together. So I think this is, uh, you know, going to be perfect for keeping this thing secure and uh, keeping the weather off the pump equipment. Uh, these controllers are real expensive. They go for uh, several thousand dollars uh, these days. And uh, so we wanna make sure we don't get any more problems. Uh, one of the things we're gonna do around the outside is we're gonna uh, put some more fill dirt around and create uh, like a fabric cloth um, uh, type of uh, apron around it similar to like we do for our tunnels So the grass won't be growing up to the edge of it within like two feet So you can kind of see the dirt area. We've already got started here on this side 
and that'll be the final thing other than some sealant uh, around the cracks just to give it a little bit of insulation in the uh, winter time. You can also see too that it has vents so we're gonna put some screen on the inside of these guys to kind of keep the insects from flying in. Uh, other than that um, this thing's pretty good. We're just I'd say we're pretty close to finished. So the nice thing about the unit too is is that it's uh, you know it was it was like 260 bucks and by the time we finished a few extra things that I mean like the wood we had scrap around the place so we didn't have to buy that um, there's a few screws for anchoring we had to take care of and the pea gravel so uh, all said and done by the time I get finished all less than three hundred dollars into it which I guess in this day and age is pretty good So that's it. It's not much to it other than that. Um, it was kind of an easy build. Probably took three times as long because, uh, you know, inexperience and making sure that I didn't, you know, screw up something because the sheet metal, I figure if I put a screw in wrong, I probably boogered up the hole. And uh, so I, I was kind of extra careful. It took me probably a total of about eight hours uh, off and on over several days just to get it all done. It, it's just one of those things. Uh, a better a better carpenter, a better mechanic who could probably done it faster. They say it's supposed to take two people, maybe two to three hours to do it. So I could see maybe my eight wasn't so bad at all. Anyway, just thought I'd show you guys a kind of a simple enclosure for a pump that's on the outside and uh, it's fairly low cost. So hope you enjoyed it. As always, take care. We'll see you on the next video. Bye bye.